Alex, can you describe and talk about what it is you saw and learned on that trip that gave you a deeper understanding of what global poverty is and what the solutions are? How does it look different? What was different than what you anticipated before you made that trip? Well, Phil, I, I think, as you said, you had the good fortune to travel through Africa. And I remember once with Lyndon Johnson once said that you never forget the lives of children whose faces have been scarred by poverty and hatred. And when you go through a country like Rwanda, you can't forget those faces, those young children whose scars are evident. And yet, as you travel and as you talk and as you hear their stories, you realize that we can really have an impact. Here's a country that lost over 800,000 people to genocide 15 years ago. They have a mass grave with 280,000 people in front of the main museum in Kogama. And you realize each one of those bodies has a story. And you realize that in 15 years, this country has gone through a makeover unlike any we've seen, at least in my lifetime. And we realize that as a result of our opportunities to interact and to understand that each one of those little faces are part of a, 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 an effort to change the face of Africa with the programs and the commitments that we're making. I mean, it is a phenomenal experience to see the growth and the vitality and the optimism and the extraordinary opportunity that these children have today. And so their story is vastly different in spite of their scars. And I just wish that through the opportunities we have to discuss it like this, everybody, whether it's through a book like A Thousand Hills that's just written about the success of Rwanda these last 15 years, or whether we have opportunities through media to see those faces, we understand that we are making a difference and we are saving lives and we ought to be committed to doing more of that in the future.